What's going on guys, and I hope you had an amazing Christmas this year, so this Christmas I decided and to go buy a few games, a new, few new games, and just to showcase them for you, not to actually showcase, but just to do some playthroughs on new games instead of the same game all the time, like on turn, like I'm usually doing. So I hope you enjoyed this, and this is going to be a New Year's. Eve, I think it's gonna be. Yes, I'm gonna try and upload it before or on that day. And I hope you have a, an amazing New Year's Eve and a New Year's Day. And obviously a new year, because it's gonna be the beginning of a fresh new year and a lot of new stuff. So, yeah, let's get on to the gameplay now. Today I decided I'm playing Portal 2. I know it's quite an old game, but I haven't played it yet, believe it or not, so I'm going to do a short playthrough till the end, obviously I'm going to try and do it if I get a good response on it. So yeah, let's get into it and obviously I'm going to start from the single player and I have played a bit of the game for now, just to see if I would like it or not and yeah, I saw that I did like it, so let's get into it. So new game, let's do the first chapter, and let's get right into it. Alright, so I'm gonna try and not talk too much in this beginning part. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Okay. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. I'm looking down. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Okay, so I'll have to walk all over here. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, Stare at the art. I am. Yes. Hello. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Seriously? No way. It's more depressing. Good. Now please return to your bed. What? Okay, I'm gonna go back to sleep, I guess. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Damn, boy. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Who could that be? Ah! Oh, God. You look um good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you? Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please seat. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all he's saying. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. Oh, great. So we're gonna all die, basically. You all right down there? Can yep. you hear me? Yep. Hello? Hi. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, me, right? If, you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Yeah, do you understand what I'm saying yes. at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Yes. Okay, so we have to jump. Okay, again. what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. 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 Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core Sorry. meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. Uh, you don't say. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? Yeah. Kinda. The reserve power ran out, 
So of course the whole relaxation centre stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold Whoa. on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Yeah, I doubt it. Uh, just, just got to get no, through no, here. No, no, no. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, now I hit that one. I hit that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, mm -hmm. tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. Yeah. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. It is. I, I think this is a docking station. I don't get ready. It no, that's a wall. Nope. Nope. Good news. That is not a docking station. No, you don't see. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. No! Oh. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Makes not holes. bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Alright, so I guess... Out on this piece of junk. Well, um, there we go. Uh, now, I'll be honest, down you here, are probably in no fit state to run this particular uh -huh. type of cognitive gauntlet. Right, Good so luck! Still need to go down. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially say. apocalyptic significance beyond our control. Okay. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Come on, let's get out of here. Wait, what? I'm a lady, bro. Okay, that's it. I really do and want to make someone play this game an with tool it, for the even in a dire emergency. version of it. I don't know why the hell it's stuttering this much in this video, I, uh, to this twice. I do We're have very 60 FPS on the game, so I don't know why I'm playing. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material oh, emancipation drill vaporizes any unauthorized equipment that passes through. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's really shaky the video for some reason. It's like getting stuttered the video, not the audio. Well, I hope it's on the audio. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. What the? Okay. So, what does this do? Right, that opens there. And that opens that one. Okay, so first I guess we have to get the cube. Go back into here. Get the freaking cube. Come on. Then we must drop it. Press that one. Pick it up again. Go in here. Put it on this thing. Get out. And go through this door. Alright, so we have to go back to the port then. I'm just stuttering because it's pissing me because off. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Wait, isn't that supposed to be your job? Or is it? Come on, loading screen. Come on, loading screen. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Hey, hey, 
Hey, you made it. Yep. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Yeah, well, there isn't. Okay. Oh! oh, God. I guess we're going down. Yep. Hello? Right, can so... you see the portal gun? Oh, yeah, I can see it. Also, how Come are you on. Let's pick that crap up. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just gonna wait for you up ahead. Oh, I'll okay. Wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Oh, right. well, that's a great idea. Team. See you in an hour, hopefully. See you. Oh my god, this lag is too freaking bad. I think it's the recording device. I don't know what the hell is wrong with it. Maybe the settings I usually have are not. Some or emergency yeah, testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Okay, so Rest assured sure. that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to okay. share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. What? So we have freaking rights as robots? I guess that's the future of mankind, sort of. If we ever get there. But I think we will get there. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Damn, that was close. Great work! Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. So now you might be thinking, how do I know how to play this game? But I have played the first, oh god, the first game of Portal. So I do have an idea on how to play it. So this is just, it continues to the first Portal, I guess. Um, the story is basically continuing on it. Now, I think I am not the same person as I was in the first one. So, I don't know exactly how it's going to continue on it. But, I guess we'll find out. If the Enrichment Center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Uh, uh, well, okay. Alright, so... Uh, this button... We'll drop that cube. Okay, all I do is that. Grab this little freaking cube. I guess we have to go up here. Drop the cube. I'm guessing... Oh yeah, put that up. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Nope, nope, nope. That. That didn't work. Okay, so let's try this again. Come on. Yeah! Wait. I have to go up here again, I'm guessing? Yep. There's a button. Come on! Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. I'm going down. Alright, so this is going to be the end of this episode. Now, obviously, I'm going to make, try and make them quite short, but fast episodes. Going through the missions fast. So, if you did un enjoy this video I guess um, just leave a like if you do want to see any more of my videos just leave a subscribe button obviously just press it and if you do want to join my steam group I do have a steam group and all you have to do is go onto my channel of YouTube and you will find the link next to my Facebook and Twitter account so yeah I hope you enjoyed it and thanks a lot I'll see you in the next video